Men lie, women lie, results never lie. This is such an important point and a universal truth about our existence here in this life. You see, in this age of information, in the computer age, the technology age, the information age, everybody wants to think that they know so much about stuff because they read about it or they watched a video on it or they heard somebody else say something about it. And now they want to project their projection because let's be clear here, that's what it is. It is a projection not a reflection. They want to project onto others limitations by trying to speak on things they have no results in. What am I talking about here? The highest form of influence in life, the highest form of influence in life is results. It's not words. It's not even actions, which is what I used to think it was. I thought action was the highest form of influence. It's not. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not. The highest form of influence is results because results never lie. One of the things that we're dealing with in this era of life, I actually think it's something that's gone on forever. However, in this era, you can poke holes in people's stories so much more rapidly because it is the information era. More information is readily available to be able to find out if people are full of junk or not. And one of the quickest ways to tell is, is just to take one look at the person who's speaking to you about something and ask yourself this question. Does this person personify what they are preaching? Do they personify that which they teach? Because if not, don't ever listen to them. And if that's you talking, shut it, zip it, zip the lip and stop giving people advice on things that you do not have mastery in because all you are doing is causing delusion and hallucinations in other people's minds because you want to feel important and think that you could speak on something you have zero results in. A perfect example of this is fasting. If I was 100 pounds or more overweight on camera talking to you about the benefits of fasting, you would experience what's called cognitive dissonance, which is your head would be trying to convince your heart of something your heart knows is not true and will never be true. So, before you go telling somebody your opinion on something, okay, before giving your two cents, have results at a level of mastery so that you're speaking from true perspective and you have a frame of reference to help lead people to a conclusion that you yourself were able to lead yourself to. Because so often people want to lead other people to a conclusion that they've never even been able to lead their self to. And let me ask you this, if you can't lead you, then who will you ever be capable of effectively leading? So, women lie, men lie, Results, though, never lie. That's why you always hear me talk about things like never take advice from somebody who is not in a position that you want to be in and never take advice from somebody who either is not currently successful at the highest levels of what you want to achieve or has achieved them within the last 6 to 12 months max so they are highly relevant to the results that you are looking to achieve and that they can share their wisdom based on what experience is where wisdom comes from. And they can help show you the ins and the outs of the path to the best way to uh, ascend that summit for whatever it is you're looking to conquer. Because once again, I learned this from one of my mentors recently and I love this saying, he got it from one of his, his friends. friends. And you wanna know what? It goes like what you've heard me say, men lie, women lie, results never lie. So next time you're wanting to get up and speak on something, be very sure that you have results because if not, one of the worst things to do in life is to show people an action of doing something consistently yet not achieving that result. 
So a perfect example of this is like fitness and weight loss. If you go to the gym, but you do not follow a regimented nutrition program, you're not going to lose the weight. Let's be clear here. And what you're going to show people is, is that if you go to the gym and you don't follow a regimented nutrition program, or if you work out on a regular basis and then don't treat your body right in between workouts, other people are going to see you and go, what's the point of working out? They work out four or five, seven times a week, and I don't see the difference. Why would I want to do that? So when you choose to do something, do it fully. Go all in on you and go all in on validating yourself on the process, not the outcome. Because if you validate on the outcome, you most likely will not keep it when you achieve it. Again, to use the example of weight loss, most people have a weight loss goal. They want to lose this amount of weight. What will actually help you better is to measure your body composition and go for a certain percentage of approximate body fat, which you can buy cheap scales that, yeah, they're inaccurate, but they will give you a rough idea of your body fat percentages, okay? You should go for body composition and you should go for keeping that composition for every single day, week, month, and year going forward because you're better off to target a body composition goal because you will build the process that you validate yourself on and constantly check yourself against that, making sure that you're validating on the process that will not only get you to the body composition, but will also help you to keep that body composition when you achieve it because muscle weighs more than fat. So you could actually get a stronger body composition having less body fat, but you could actually end up weighing a little bit more because of the fact that muscle weighs more than fat. Now, if you have an overwhelming amount of extra fat on your body, then you probably will end up with a net weight loss. However, it's better to target inches in the body measurement areas and body composition for fat percentages rather than it is just a number of weight, okay? And again, results never lie. If you're gonna go ask somebody for help with losing weight or getting fit or staying fit or elevating your fitness to higher levels continuously, you're not going to go look for the unhealthy, overweight, out of shape person to give you advice. It's very easy to see the cognitive dissonance in that. You would go and do conscious congruence, which would lead you to the person who is jacked, who is super fit, who has the results currently, because you can't lie about how lean and buff you are. And then you would ask that person what they did to not only get there, but to stay there. And you want to know what you'd find out? Most people will be willing to share that with you in the beginning. And if you stay committed to the process, they'll continue to share it with you. But what do most people do is they want you to give them a bunch of information and then debate you on that information based on their total ignorance and obliviousness to the outcome that they're trying to debate with you that they have no experience in, that you have mastery level results in. So all I'm saying is if you got mastery results, speak it loudly and until then, shut your mouth. Get out there and shine brighter.